Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Get to see my new ink. Yeah, I got ink. Tattoos are awesome. Uh, yeah, I was going to take a video of getting the tattoo because we did a tattoo time video a long time ago, but I didn't. I should have. Um, I do have another tattoo coming up Saturday. Uh, we're going to get the design on this arm that I made, uh, which I designed this, uh, not these, but I did design that. Um, but it, tattoos are awesome. If you haven't got a tattoo, what the fuck are you doing? Get a tattoo. Tattoos are cool. Uh, it's it's no longer taboo to have tattoos. Is it tat tat taboo? That was stupid. That was really dumb. But tattoos are cool. Get tattoos. So I wanted to kind of give you guys an update on everything. Uh, as you guys know, this makes I guess technically the second video I've made about uh doing the keto. Um, this is technically week three, but I'm just going to count as week two um, for the video updates. Because uh, the last video I did was six days ago uh, when it had to do with the keto stuff. So I, I'm doing pretty well on it. Uh, Sunday, not Sunday, but Saturday, uh, I was doing good all day. And we went to this party. You guys seen the video. You guys seen the picture. Uh, Miss Bits and I, she dressed up as me. Uh, she had the uh, <laughs> she had the shirt and the pants, the the beard and everything. We went all out. We actually had a really good time. We had uh, uh, I did eat bad stuff there. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I kind you know I, I couldn't help it, but I immediately the next day went back. But the whole day on Saturday, I didn't even eat. Uh, you know, I was eating my normal keto stuff. And that night we went. I and we had fun. So. Uh, I kind of splurged that night, and I kind of felt felt it like, um, you know, like I said before, I, I have problems with my feet with the diabetes, and you know, I've I've been been doing pretty well. The feet hasn't been bad at all, uh, because I haven't been suffering my face with bad stuff. But um, yeah, as soon as I started adding that stuff back into the mix, like I started to feel it. Like it's like, damn, that really is the problem. Uh, but Sunday I got up early, uh, went back to it. Uh, same for the day. Um, I haven't went off of it. Meat, vegetables, berries, uh, nuts. Um, we do have some keto uh, bread and keto milk, stuff like that. Um, but I've been keeping uh, keeping steady on that. Now, uh, one thing I do need to add, and we're getting ready to fix that problem, is getting back to the gym, which I need to... Uh, I need to get back to that. I, I, you know, we got the heavy bag up. Um, uh, we're just trying to make some room with the holidays and everything. It's been kind of crazy, especially at work. Uh, I've had quite the load of work because everybody's leaving. Um, and being an IT guy, uh, it's hard to reach out to people to get what you need done. So yeah, that's been fun. It's been fun. I actually had some calls over the weekend uh to do some work which that's great when you're an it guy for a big company uh you're always in demand um you know they have you on call all the time which uh i don't know if you guys any of you guys are it but you may know what i'm talking about but anyways yeah the diet's been doing good i'm trying to wean myself off of soda um now i i drink uh diet mountain dew and uh the zero sugar Diet Dr. the Diet Sugar Dr. Pepper and stuff, no sugars or anything like that. I'm trying to wean myself off of that because that's bad. Um, you know, I tried to do that today. I I got G Fuel, which is it's a sugar free uh, drink. Um, you just stir it into your water, and there you go. It's just got caffeine. It just makes you feel good. But I'm trying to get myself off of soda and just stick to the powdered drinks. Um, you know, start sticking with my uh, Mills being a protein shake in the morning uh, instead of, you know, what I used to be. But, you know, I still get, like, bacon and eggs and stuff, which is great. Um, I'm starting to love bacon and eggs. I used to hate bacon, which I know that's a crime on the Internet is to hate bacon. But now I absolutely love bacon, so I have bacon all the time. But so far, it's been great, been great. Um, I haven't stepped on a scale this week. Um, so I don't know. I'll probably do that in the morning. Um, I was going to take a picture and post it on the community page. So I may do that unless I forget. Um, 
but yeah, I need to keep an eye on the weight. I'm thinking probably instead of doing like weekly weigh-ins, I'd probably do a monthly weigh-in. That way I'm not so concentrated on the number and whenever, you know, doing it every month would probably be, probably be a whole lot better. That way you can kind of surprise yourself and be like, oh man, I lost this much weight in a month. Awesome. But, you know, seeing it every week, you're probably not going to really notice much of a change. Um, so I, you know, I, I have problems with numbers to begin with. And that's why I was having issues with, you know, taking a look at the video stuff. Um, it's like, well, I made a video that had Chili's name in it, and it got almost 2,000 views. Then I took a video, made a video that didn't have Chili in it, and only got like 121 views. Um, and then you know, I was just look at those numbers. I'm like, well, I expected that to happen. I, I did expect that, um, which that's okay. That's okay. The channel's got to grow, and, you know, I don't want it to be just Chili. Um, but you know, it is what it is, but hopefully we can get back to it. Hopefully we can get, uh, more views and stuff. That would be cool. But mainly I want to concentrate on fixing my health, rather it be physical or mental. Uh, I know, um, I've been having some problems mentally lately. Um, my wife has noticed it. Uh, you know, I, uh, I don't know what's wrong with me and, you know, I kind of broke down on her. Um, I think it was last week I broke down on her. I was like, I was in the kitchen and I was just bald. I was like, I don't know what's wrong with me. And, uh, I think a lot of it is, is like, a, you know, I was doing, taking Ambien every night and I stopped taking Ambien like cold turkey. I was like, I'm not taking this shit anymore. I'm not doing it. And I think that's affected me because you really can't do that. You're not supposed to just cold turkey stop doing uh, certain meds and that's what I was doing I just stopped it and I was like I'm not doing it anymore because I, I like to feel I like to have control of myself whenever you know I take my medicine and the fact is when I'm on Ambien like I don't remember anything from the previous day like before the time I went to sleep like I forget mostly everything and I hate that feeling uh, yeah it's harder for me to get to sleep uh, not taking it but, you know, I'd rather, you know, know what I'm doing. I'd rather remember what's going on instead of, you know, just forgetting everything. So there's that. There's that. So hopefully, hopefully my body can get used to not being on Ambien. And hopefully my body eventually can get used to just getting rid of a lot of this medicine. Um, and I like to switch it with something else. Yeah. I'm not going to divulge there, but I like to switch it with something different. Uh, but it's not its not what you would call legal. But anyways, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Um, <laughs> uh, and you're probably thinking, he's want to do hardcore drugs! No. No. What I'm talking about is not a drug. Uh, to me, anyways, I don't think it's a drug. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I think, I, think, I think my body getting used to the diets, the changes, and once we start adding uh, physical activity, um, that would be better. Um, you know, I, I do miss punching things. Uh, so, you know, I, I was actually, you know, from time to time I'll go in and I'll punch the bag a few times. I'm like, you know, I miss doing this. And I do miss it. I do miss, quite, miss it quite much. And hopefully we can uh, get back into that. My thing, I miss a lot of swimming. And I was going swimming like every other day there for a while and i like to get back to doing that just get back to swim i know it's winter and the last thing people's like man why would you want to go swimming in the winter it's like it's the best time to go swimming nobody else is going swimming so i'm going to go swimming and so i think that's what i'm going to do is just get back into the pool get back to punching the bag um just get back into a better physical uh, better physical activity of what i'm doing uh, and of course, leads us to the next part of the game. So, and I call it a game because we're going to go into games. So I'm getting back into video games again, uh, getting back to uh, that passion because I that's one of my favorite things. Like if you take a look at like all my tattoos or uh, you know my little man cave or uh, all my gaming systems, you're like, man, you're a fucking nerd. I am, I am, big gamer, big gamer nerd, always have been. Um, but I'm getting back to that, like, there for a while. I was like, man, I don't, 
technically don't want to play any games right now, but now I want to get back into it. Just finished God of War, just started the Callisto Protocol, which I'm going to have some reviews here soon and give you guys my game of the year before the end of the year, which we only have a few weeks left. Uh, I mean, Christmas is coming up, and New Year's is coming up, so I'm going to at least try to get my game of the year out, uh, at least before the new year, that way... We can start over. And there's games carrying into the new year that I'm going to be playing, but I missed out this year because uh, it's just I, I haven't played nearly as much. But uh, yeah, I just finished God of War and it was fucking amazing. Uh, I don't know if it was as good as Elden Ring. Elden Ring, I put um, like 120 hours into Elden Ring, and you know I know people have sunk you know 500 hours in Elden Ring. But, you know, I find that was my first Soulsborne game I ever beat, and I loved it. Well, I guess if you consider Star Wars Fallen Order, uh, Jedi Fallen Order, that I guess that counts. But, uh, yeah, my first From Software game I ever finished, so. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Thanks for the up. Let me update you on this. I'm going to do my best not to fail you guys. And uh, hopefully, um, hopefully we can start uh, growing the channel again. Um... You know, like I said, I don't want to talk about Chile that much, uh, but, you know, we'll talk about other things and occasionally talk about Chile. I know there's a lot of stupid things he's doing right now uh, that I'd love to talk about, but I just I just don't have it in my heart to just talk about him anymore. Like, it just makes me sick, like, thinking about him. But guys, thank you so much. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Oh, yeah.